Thank you all for joining us. We'll start the questions now. Okay, guys, we'll be... Hello and welcome to a stadium that has a wonderfully old-fashioned feel to it, Goodison Park. I'm Derek Ray and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And there are a few more enjoyable days on the football calendar than opening day in the Premier League. It's Everton versus Southampton. Well, the atmosphere is incredible inside the stadium, Derek. There's a real sense of optimism amongst the fans about the new season and what it might bring. It's been a long wait, but hopefully we get a great game to kick their campaigns off. And now they get the ball rolling. And here's how Everton line up. Jordan Pickford is the keeper. Davide Calabria plays with Luca Digne in the fullback positions. Alan starts alongside Abdullahi Dukure in central midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Well cleared away. Not to be advised giving the opportunity. And a goalkeeper in great form. And he's just pulled off an absolutely stunning save there. That is brilliant. So the corner played into the box. And it still could be dangerous. Wonderful chance. Blocked it brilliantly. And he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. James Rodriguez. Intercepting it intelligently. Oh, he's really opened them up here. He just needs to remain icy cool. Oh, just wide of the mark. Goal kick. Well, that never looked like troubling the keeper, did it? But it was worth an effort. A good strike from him. Well, it is without question a very special day. This is his debut match. Stuart, what should we expect to see from him? Well, it seems like a good signing to me. They've had some problems at the back in recent years, so I think they just want someone they can depend on week in, week out. He reads the game well, though, and certainly can handle himself, so I expect him to fit in well here. Townsend. Accurate pass upon accurate pass. Can they forge ahead? They do! A 
And you've got to say, they're good value for the lead. Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Josko Gvardiol. Extremely sloppy in possession. Richarlison. James Rodriguez. Going well. The cross played over and work to do defensively. Oh, surely a smart stop here. Now, how about the short corner? Been a good challenge. Intelligent threaded pass here. Dangerous looking attack. El Yunusi. The save was a good one. Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. Well, still behind here, but only due to some incredible goalkeeping. Surely it's only a matter of time if they keep piling on the pressure like this. And a bit of goal news to bring you from the Watford game. That news comes from Alex Scott. It's a goal for Villa. They're the first on the score sheet here with 26 minutes played. Many thanks, Alex. He's got the right idea with that pass. And a goal! They're going to take some stopping now. Two in front here. So 2-0 now. And they have possession again. Well, as you can see, Everton have had most of the ball and they've made good use of it. They really have played some good attacking football and they look like scoring more. Surely! What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Well-timed tackle. Far from a good pass. Calabria played into the centre. Well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. Armstrong. El Yunusi. On the ball, Andros Townsend. Well, he's going to be disappointed with that pass. Look at Dinia. Davide Calabria. Spraying passes around, almost waiting for the opposition to make a mistake. So one minute of stoppage time, that's what the officials have said. He has time to play it over. An effective ball. Can he finish? And there it is! Three goals in front now, an immense performance. The first half here comes to an end. Opportunity. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Armstrong. The ball with James Rodriguez.
No nonsense clearance. And just failing to bend the run enough. And the flag has been raised. A lot of talk in the newspapers and on the internet about Leicester City. And they have finally got their man. The transfer has officially gone through. Well, the figure that's being quoted is around the £35 million mark, which in my view looks to be just about right. Let's hope he fits in quickly and justifies that price tag. André Gomes. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Can they take advantage of the situation? Just made sure nothing came of that. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change. So the corner played into the box and gobbled up with ease by the keeper. Richarlison off the post and back in play. Well, how did that not go in? It was a great effort, you have to say. OK, I think we'd better send it over to Alex Scott for an update because, Alex, I believe there's been a goal in the Watford match. It's another for Aston Villa. They're pulled ahead by two with 58 minutes played. Thanks, as always, Alex. Superb effort to keep it in. Chance to cross. Townsend. Can he take advantage? Now the keeper dealt with the danger. Alan Calvert Lewin. Can he make it count? Well, it might still work out for them, but fisted away by the goal. Well, in the end, it was rather straightforward for the goalkeeper, Stewart. Well, he has to do better there. That's a really poor finish. Well, those stats back up what we've been watching. It's been a really one sided game, and it's far too easy for them to open up this defence. This could turn into a rout. And a friendly reminder that we have more action from the Premier League coming up. It's Everton taking on Leeds United. A move of promise on the flank. And he saw the situation developing. And into the last 20 minutes. Gomes. And Gabana. Well, it's a poor tackle. Really vital interception. Well, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. But I believe changing circumstances in the Burnley game. Let's hear all about real chance. Oh, it's in! And a goal on his debut, no less. What a way to endear yourself to the fans. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? Well, unfortunately, we had to interrupt Alex just then. Apologies for that. To confirm, Burnley have scored in that match. And it's now even Steven, 1-1. Look at Dinia. Read it well. Covert Lewin. Here's Cabana. Opportunity. Richarlison. And he did so well to move across and deal with the danger. And time for the change now. Number 24, Mohamed El Lusi. To be replaced by number 11. It's a short one. Townsend, well news to bring you in position and pushed away to safety corner given they take it short oh he's lost possession and Gomes Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. He takes aim and pushed onto the woodwork. OK, I think we'd better send it over to Alex Scott for an update because, Alex, I believe there's been a goal in the Watford match. Yeah, 
third goal for Aston Villa. It's now 3-1 with 87 minutes played. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. A chance for them to provide a test in the form of a corner. Townsend. Alan. Can he finish this? Well, a short corner here. Townsend. Here is Andre Gomes. And there it is, the final whistle. This is not exactly what Southampton fans wanted to see in terms of the result. A defeat here. Well, Derek, they definitely started off on the wrong foot, haven't they? It's so vital that they now bounce back next week. They can't... Opportunity!